everybody is sick right now. The parking lot at work is like empty. It's crazy. <laughs> Los Angeles really? has hit the Oh man, everybody's hit the ground. Hard. It's rough. It's rough. I mean, it's bummer you're ill, but thank God it happened today and not like Friday. You know what's funny? It did happen Friday. No, no you were sick on here. Saturday. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. I was sick for all of the Oscars. I bombed that in performance that was trash nah come on man i mean obviously you can be as hard on yourself as you want that's your prerogative but i'm not gonna i can't concur with that and it was also like the oscars is not my um people like you know what i mean like it's not i'm not used to that like at least the grammys wasn't as scary because it was like artists and it felt like my people it felt like you know what I'm like, you know what I mean? It was like, oh look, a bunch of artists, and like I knew a lot of them already, and I'd met them and they knew of me, and like but like the Oscars, I'm like, these are movie stars. Did it feel like a, did, did, <laughs> that is true. Did, did it feel like a different stage? Does does the stage itself feel totally like way bigger and way? Oh, totally different. <laughs> it was so scary. It's almost a year to the day since we hung out in Paris. I think uh-huh. about that interview now, and at the time I think we were all just trying to get something that kind of meant something at that moment, right? Just to say, hey, we're all here in this moment right now. The album's coming out. It's all been great. Let's just get something that we can look back on. And I look back on it now and I think like, not only is your life so fundamentally different, but you just seem so much happier and more settled. It's funny. It's like, I I don't know. Snapchat's been doing that thing where it's like one year ago today and it shows you some, you know, back when you were whatever. And... Oh my God. It was like February last year and March, honestly, like just, I was so just like not good. And like, I keep, (coughs) like, I keep seeing those videos or whatever I took a year ago today or whatever. It's like, Oh my God. It's like, I, I remember like when I was, I, I saw one yesterday that was a year ago yesterday. And I, there was this song in the background and it was this song that I kept playing on that whole trip because it was like, I don't know. It just was getting me. And when I heard the song again, I was just like, oh. Uh, the life you're living right now is mad. Um, it's just getting crazier, you know. Um, God, how do they come up with these titles, these Bond titles? No time to die. It's just hilarious. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you just have to put time and die and today or tomorrow in a title and you're golden, you know. It's like, it's like <laughs> did you have to pitch for it or did they just come directly to you and say, you know, we've made a decision already? Like, how did the process happen for you and Phineas? Um, no, it was, it was like a, I mean, it was, it was kind of, um, not very like specific, like it was, it's kind of just like, um, you know what's funny about it? Like two years ago, we were like, wouldn't it be crazy to make a song for the Bond movies? Like, wouldn't that be dope? And so kind of for two years ish, we've been subconsciously trying to <laughs> in your um, own way you really, in our own way you've been kind yeah. of subliminally pitching through your music in a strange way yes no for sure and like we've written songs that have never come out that are like oh this sounds like bond like this would be dope like it would never happen whatever and then this offer came up and we were like ah and then careful I what think, you wish for I, <laughs> no no yeah. it was it was honestly the like a great process we we were in Ireland and then Barbara Broccoli um, or Broccoli, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. She came out to Ireland and she came, she watched the show and then we had a meeting with her after and she just talked about the movie and told us some stuff. And we were like, it sounds in fire. Um, <laughs> let us know what we can do, you know, and then and then we got a piece of the script, um, like the first scene. And then we wrote the song immediately and we wrote it in three days and we wrote it in Texas and we recorded it in a bunk on the bus in a basement in the dark. But so you're getting this music back and it's got Hans Zimmer on it and you're hearing a new arrangement to this song that you wrote in Texas and recorded on a bunk. And I mean, you're looking at Phineas and you're like, how, how does that feel? Because no one's done that. You see it through to the end. That's why you win engineers and producers and artists of the year. That's why you win this. Sh- so it's like when you get it back, how does that feel? It was more collaborative than you'd think, actually, which I was surprised by because I thought it would just be like, here's the song. And they take it and then they then I would have no say. But they actually were completely, they really wanted to know it, I think. The day after my birthday, we flew to London for a week. And we worked with Hans and the entire orchestra. And that's they recorded all of the orchestra um, when we went there. And 
And then did you cry? I mean, everyone whenever the orchestra kicks off in the room, they always cry. It's like a it's like a switch goes off. Did you get emotional? I did not, but <laughs> it is really it's really beautiful. It's I I really love it. And also, and then we recorded a bunch of stuff and like a bunch of stuff we were we didn't even use or we did or whatever. And then um, we went home like after a week and it was Christmas and whatever. But then for like a month ish, like half a month maybe we. We were just kind of going back and forth to their team and, and us about like just getting it right and getting it right and getting it right. And it went through a lot of different versions. And, and then we got it. Like we all worked really hard. Hans was incredibly like easy to work with. And he's so funny. And like, yeah, it was it was a it was a really good collaborative experience. Touring before that you go, I mean, it, that's the one thing that's missing, right? The last like few months, you've literally been kind of running around doing every other part of this crazy circus. But the one thing you haven't been able to do is go and see your fans in ages. I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm actually looking forward to touring for once in my life. Um, I'm really excited we leave in March, which is like two seconds away. I realized yesterday. Um, I'm excited. I'm I'm like so ready to get back to it. Like you don't even know. 